Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Sharon, of course. You already knew that, though, didn't you? Yes, you did. Uh, my co-host today. You know it's me, Jamal. Yeah, it's old hardworking TC. And we got a surprise co-host that showed up today. He was in my A for a minute. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I had to rest. I had to rest. You act like you're about 90 years old. Well. Oh, okay. Oh, I was like biting. I was always tired. I had to rest. Okay, okay. You see our disclaimer up there. You see our disclaimer. Read over that. Take a few seconds to read over that. And you don't need to read over. You already know what it's saying. Anyway, I mean, many times we show it every, every, every video. You should know that. But anyway, take a few minutes to read over it. Then we're going to go to our video. All right. Make sure I'll pause it. Well, folks, I, I I don't know. I hope y'all don't get tired of Tiff Tiff, but it's Tiff Tiff again. It's Tiffy Tiff Hood Booger Day. She just, <laughs> can we get a break, Tiff? Can just one day, can you just act normal like everybody else? But no, not you. Nobody wants to see normal. They want to see dysfunction. Oh, that's what people want to say? She, she can't be normal. She got a frog face. See, look. That's look. a face. I ain't say nothing about the eyes. I said face. Okay, well, let's play this video and let you let you see it. Then we'll come back. We'll come back. The ugliest woman in Dalton. Play that video. Standoff in the South Suburbs. The feud centers around controversial Thornton Township Supervisor and Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Anthony Ponce joins us in studio to explain. Yes, Brian and Natalie, it is very clear that the trustees in Thornton Township have trust issues refusing to second a motion by Tiffany Henyard to get routine township bills paid. Our motion that we pay the uh, bills for the general fund. Is that second? Is that motion is second? Call the <laughs> <laughs> Jones. No. Nope. Radio silence after Henyard <laughs> attempts to get general fund bills paid. Here's why the trustees didn't go along with it. Board members had previously proposed several ordinances to be included on last night's agenda. Those ordinance proposals put limits on elected officials being able to use township merchandise for self-promotion. They put travel guidelines in place for elected officials and also put caps on spending and salaries. Those proposals come after a series of controversial moves by Henyard, who is accused of using public money for personal gain and not being transparent about her spending. So when the trustees showed up to the meeting last night, the agenda included none of those proposals, so they refused to budge on this. You guys still don't want to move forward with paying any of the bills in the general fund? That is my question. Is there a day for the previous week that we could pick that we could set to review the bills? Trust me, y'all don't have the bills. Do you want to pay the bills? I'll stop right there. She sent them the bills on a weekend. They ain't had a chance to read over it yet. And she want to want them to prove to pay the bills. They, they don't even know what's in the bills. Well, she know what's in the bills. That's why she sent them on the weekend. So they won't have time to look over them. She didn't hear something in there. And she want them to do everything she want to do. But she don't. She won't give them nothing. Yeah. Now, of course she ain't going to prove... Um, uh, it's limited spending and limited travel. What they they, they want to put they want to put money in the general fund and what, who knows what the general fund is going to? Probably her travel. Going to her bank account. Going to her personal bank account. Yeah. Hopefully she ain't that stupid to put no, money she's in. She's, she's, that she's that stupid. She's that stupid. <laughs> yeah, she's that stupid. Anybody look at her, anybody believe she's not that stupid? And she been doing stupid stuff. She she got the face of a. Guilty bulldog. She don't want them put no cap on her spending. Yeah, that's all that is. So, so this way they don't have to sign for the check. She just go get the check. That's right. Mm -hmm. She get the money out. In, she get the money anytime she want to. And she know good and well they put a cap on her travel. Where's she gonna go? And how much she gonna spend on while she's on that travel? Oh, bulldog ain't be able to get that suit. Look like it's wrapped in aluminum foil. And then, <laughs> then, then you know, she won't be able to go out there all over expensive dinners and stay at those expensive hotels. And she, she, she ain't gonna approve none of that. Well, so now they, they on strike too. They're not approving the pay bills. Well, what they need to approve is that makeup fund, so she won't like Cruella Deville when you look at her. Look like my deuce, you turn a stone looking at her. Well, see, she, that's part of her her fun. That's why she wanted them to go and pay some bills. She, she done spent something. She done, done something. That's why she sent the the, the invoice on the weekend. And that's, I'll play some more of the video. It's not much longer. 
No, they ain't gonna no. pay the bill. No, they're not gonna pay the bill. Uh, really? I mean, do you think if you just keep saying that, I'll automatically everybody gonna change their mind and pay the bill? They already told you no. You think you can get your way, but they can't get their way. I mean, really? The, no, no, you don't know what the no means? Do TC, you know what no means? What no means? I know what it means. No what? means exactly what it means. No. N O, mm -hmm. the capital mm -hmm. N O is still mm -hmm. going to be no. We are not paying the bills, Tiff, Tiff, until well, you they get. Ain't paying the bills. We don't live there. Well, <laughs> that's what they saying. Yeah. Until we see an invoice, you get nothing. They, they should prove taking the camera off the old mangled face. Hey, look, now, look, we ain't here. <laughs> yeah, we, I am. We ain't here to talk about how Tiffany look. Mm. Everybody know how Tiffany look. Everybody can see that. Now, we're here to talk about her underhanded, sneaky, low down, dirty, down low tactics. Oh, I forgot to mention, I seen a video earlier that Keith Freeman is no longer the general administrator in Thornton. What? She she, uh, she got a new dude named Keith Price. He big old, look like he ate all the snacks in the world. So he did he get fired or he quit? Or? I think she fired him in Thornton. Oh no, he didn't quit. She <laughs> he got fired. Yeah, he ain't no way he quit all that money. So isn't he the one who raped that woman? No, you talking about Andrew Hong. Oh. Keith Freeman is the administrator. Oh, the, I can't keep them separated. Is uh, now they got a. Do look like he swallowed free will. He is a, t a town administrator now. He's black. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah he back. You, you know, you know. And he's get he's ghetto and ignorant, just like Tiffany. Really? <laughs> yeah. Probably all right. Her bro. Nah, her cousin. Her cousin on her mama's side. <laughs> all right. Yeah, he he just he just got out of out of rehab, and uh, he needed a job. I can't remember who show it was, but they call him. Uh, they call them fat snacks. Fat snack. <laughs> yeah. Wow! Like somebody stuck an air hole in his ear and blew him up. Yeah, he, he's he's morbidly obese. Oh, he need money to buy some food <laughs> and find those, uh, find some loose fitting t-shirts. They probably about choking him to death. That's why he need a job. <laughs> he need money to buy to buy bigger clothes and eat more food. And then I guess I guess she was like, "Look, Dad, you know this your cousin. You know he just got out of rehab. You know he need a job, Tiffany." Okay. Well, we'll find a, we gonna find a clip of him. All right, here's on the rest of the video. Tiffany acting ghetto and ignorant again, as always. And that's not how you go. Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Hinyard was accused right yeah, by big board members right of there. keeping certain items off tonight's agenda, including an ordinance board members say would cap spending by the supervisor. As a result, some board members refused to approve the hiring of landscaping contractors for the township. Hinyard is also the mayor of Dalton and the subject of lawsuits and investigations. Good everybody. Thank you for coming out this evening. Mm -hmm. Um, I missed uh, y'all. It was recorded and by the Lansing uh, Journal, and CBS, and NBC uh, Chicago uh, News. Out here. Um, today I'd like to call the order for the township. Um, I'd like to say, so I think at some point in time, there needs to be inclusion, equity, and compromise from the administration. Um, I know we did send over some ordinances that didn't get placed on the agenda, and those ordinances were put in place, and we're even creating ordinances at this point. Right, but I'm you asked me a question I'm about being, right i'm giving my response right so, that's what i'm doing do you want a response or not i do but i want to talk about okay. ordinance okay so again so um it was to put um you know um, organization structure and responsible spending in place and since those ordinances were not placed on the agenda um i don't feel comfortable supporting the spending so once the ordinances are put in place and supported i'll feel more comfortable with their structure organization and um a limit set and is forced, you know, not forced, but just enforced that they're responsible spending with the township funds. So that's why I'm not supporting the bills. Okay. Where is it not responsible spending? You need to point it out because you're saying that 
and you have no evidence of that, you're just saying things. So tell the public where you you see that there's no responsible fit. Because this is all department, it's for the record that people that don't know how this works, every people that come on here comes from a department, she knows that. So if they have a call, oh, these Paul. documents that she's requesting alone. You still on Paul? No. All right, and so with Chief Fast next. Look at that's coming into this township for her to do that. That's oh, that really big boy crazy. talking. Yeah, on a Saturday and a Sunday, and demand them by Monday is unreasonable. And that's all I'm trying to get everybody to see. It's unreasonable. There are no demands made. Anybody okay, you said you know what you know what you know you said you know what 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 you no. Fat boy yeah. mad, ain't he? Yeah. He hungry, that's what it is. <laughs> oh! Big boy, come on! Yeah. You ghetto hood rat! Okay, are y'all done? Alright, just so y'all know, the law is Oh, oh, big boy is angry! Whoa. I would have fought him. You, you, you yeah. jump on that yeah. big old dude? He ain't got that much energy to move around that fast. I would have fought him as a math is this. Math Where did she find him at? Probably in the ghetto. <laughs> You're not gonna come up here and you sitting down there mm. talking noise. Uh, but he was, woo! Big I, boy hungry, that's I, what it is. I'm gonna abbreviate it. Know your MF and lane. Oh. You not up there, you down there. They're talking about co defendant. They're not in court. What are you talking about, co defendant? <laughs> he been watching too many shows. He been on watching TV. Law and Order. <laughs> he been watching Law and Order. Oh, man. <laughs> Didn't you tell they were fuller? Fuller S. S? Yeah. Crap. Yes. Is that how you conduct yourself in the meeting? In town meeting? You gonna get up there and act like that? What you expect? That's all she knows, ghetto hood boogers. She's one, and that's all she knows. She got rid of one and replaced him with that one. Well, she she got rid of a, a higher class of hood boogers. Well, he wasn't that high. <laughs> yeah, but he's he, he higher class, higher class than, than big free willy. Free Willie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, they, they, they don't have a chair big enough for him to sit up there. So, <laughs> so he got to sit out there in the audience. And look at him. The chair still ain't big enough for him. Got a big old wide fat back. Big back. <laughs> big back. <laughs> old salty pork. <laughs> wow. A salty pork. <laughs> that, that's what they call him, fat back, old salty pork. So he's a bad bag of pork rinds. <laughs> he's he's that, that, that big old hog. That's the biggest pork rind in the bag. <laughs> see, that's what see, no. farmers, farmers like hogs that Yeah, big. that's a big old country hog. Because you get a lot of meat on them, on the shoulders and the hams. I mean, oh, that's a lot of meat. I mean, his head don't, his head don't match his body. Well, see, no. well, yeah, see, they have to throw that head away. See, most of the time when you kill a hog, you can use his head to get to get liver mush. Well, but well, his head like, ain't big enough. I don't know. He might have a little meat in there get with some liver right. mush. Well, for his jaws. He yeah, has for some, his, some hog jaws. Get some hog jaws. <laughs> but you, could, you couldn't get nothing else out of it. No, because he don't even have no rolls on the back of his neck, so his head ain't that meaty. Yeah, some people <laughs> eat pork brains, but he, he ain't got enough brain in there. The, the cook, the uh, for yeah. Now, when you, you use pork brains, when you fry your eggs in the morning, you put your eggs in the pan. A lot of people put the pork brains on the eggs that they cook, but you don't yeah. do that. Man, he ain't got enough brain power for that. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't got enough pork brain <laughs> nah. to fry? They, they left it out in the sun too long and dried he, up. He's got piglet brain. <laughs> piglet? But he, his body ain't no piglet. His body ain't piglet, but his brain is. <laughs> well, you can eat for months on that big old fat. <laughs> but he's getting ready to fight, wasn't he? A big boy about to have a heart attack. People, people coming for Tiffy, he's getting ready to fight. 
if I was that dude, I would have came from around there. Hey, he won't go jump on that. Uh-uh, you don't jump on him. You don't jump on him. You can't. Him All you got to do is push him over. You know, it's going to be a hard time for him to get back up. Like one of them turtles on their <laughs> <they> back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go, be like one of those flies. You you spray a, a bug spray on it, they land on their back. <laughs> <laughs> he look more like one of them big old fat sea turtles. You, you roll over in the back and can't yeah. get up. That's why I said turtle. <laughs> uh, it, wow. could, uh, it could be a wars. He's about big as a wars. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, cause you know that's what we used to call Bishop Jake the war, wars, yeah, but yeah. he's bigger than Bishop Jake. <laughs> I'll play some more. Got your package, got your documentation, it's just it out. So just pay attention to when people are playing politics and not doing the government um, child, which is your duty. Your duty is to make sure you understand the invoice, make sure you got the supporting documentation for it, and move forward. But to curiosity come to a board me and not pay people. Pause right there. People are doing work, but the problem is they not you, get paid. You supposed to be you supposed to bid on the job. Yeah. You don't just pick who you want to do the job. That's why they're not paying the they they paying some of the employees salary, but the ones that she hired without approval, they are not paying them. Yeah. Well, I think she's talking about the contractors on this one. Well, yeah, yeah. but you know, she also talking about people have to work; they got to get paid. But you know, some of the people. In the last meeting, some of the people she hired without their approval, they're yeah. not getting paid. Right, yeah. Yeah, but like I said, t- why is she not in prison yet? That's what I don't understand. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. But when? There's a, there's a m- bunch of inform- evidence to See, put her in prison. I'm going to tell you when they're going to do it. When she's around her people, that's when they're going to get a humiliator. Well, who is her people? The crooks. Uh, employees. Andrew Holmes. Well, I tell you what, if that was old Annie Mae on the corner, they were being to swooped her up and put her in jail. She was out trying to swindle people. Well, I, I guarantee you that Keith Freeman, now she got rid of him, he's, he's going to put unturn all the stones onto the FBI. Well, did she get rid of him in Dalton, too? No, Dustin just- Thornton. And she thought that she think that's well. They they put the head together. They came up with that. <laughs> yeah, they they worked that out. Now I guarantee you that Keith Freeman is gonna be squealing like a little pig. Now. No, he's not. They 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 got some kind of plan going. They they didn't work that out somehow. Some way mm-hmm. uh, she told me, "Boom, now you you got to give up one of these jobs, kind of make me look a little good, you know." <laughs> Ain't no help in this. Hey, she oh, just told her corrupt. Character. That's her what I'm character. talking about. Oh, why are you, why are you getting all defensive? You you, <laughs> you work for Tiffany. <laughs> And so they worked it out to make it look like she's doing something. No, nah, it's too late for that. It's way too late. Yeah, it is. It is. But but she got rid of one crook and got old fat boy there. You got fat daddy fat snacks. You know when when I was going to school, they used to have the fat boy paper, new uh-huh. uh, notebook paper, and they had a big old fat boy in school clothes on. Uh-huh. Look kind of like him. 
I, I bet when he went to school, he had to sign a waiver to make sure he ain't having a heart attack in school. <laughs> oh, I know, I know who he looked like. You remember the uh, Shoney's big boy? Yeah, that big old uh, that big old statue they had yeah. out in front of him. That, that was him. Uh, let's play a little he bit. He posed for that. Yeah. He he looked like the Mitchell man or Mitchell man or State Park Marshmallow's brother. You oh. saw the words right at my mouth. You say something about the Mitchell yeah. man. You got it. You got it. Uh, and on the record, for worth word, Trustee Carmen said with Stan Brown, drove around with Stan Brown, told him she was okay with putting this on the agenda. So folks, Trustee Carmen. I didn't know that was doing this much work. Yeah, I mean, too. Huh? And Trustee Gonzalez told Stan Brown the same exact thing. Y'all both said it was okay to place this on the agenda for the additional three contracts. So it is back for me that you're sitting here today saying table something and you know the grass still growing. So for two more weeks, make that make sense. Why aren't we in the next I think we need to discuss these um, ordinances and then we can take these next Trustee, this is what's on the agenda. You guys need to the agenda. The agenda right now is something that you asked to put on the agenda. Make it make sense. I didn't ask you got me. You got to close the that you were okay with adding the three contractors. He then came on the phone and he talked to you. He talked to Jerry. Because they add them, don't mean they have to pay them. So what? Because they add the contractors to the gym, don't mean they have to approve the payment. No. And she 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 doing something underhanded, and they know something. The reason they doing that, they they just got the scheme over. It. They got the scam over it. See, yeah, cause you send it on Sunday. Who's gonna read it on Sunday when they with their family? Nobody. Nobody. People people don't even check their email half time on a Sunday. I don't check my email no time of the day, <laughs> no time of the Is week. That right? <laughs> so don't send me no email. I think I'm gonna respond to you because you ain't gonna get nothing you, out of me. You better call me and tell me you send yeah. me an email. And don't text me either, cause ain't no telling when I'm gonna look at my text. No. So you know, let's do it the old fashioned way. Pick up that phone and call. Well. They're probably going to uh, send it straight to voicemail and let it leave it on voicemail. <laughs> yeah. Well, I believe we carried on a little bit long as we could. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. I I don't understand this woman. See, the thing is, you're trying to make sense you of this woman. Sense you can't of. make sense of it. But she is who she is. It is what it is. But after a while, you learn, don't you? Hey. She's not learning. She's too stupid to learn anything. She can barely speak. You think she can learn anything? Well, she got a college degree. Uh, though. She probably got that back of Cracker Jack box. I mean, oh. I mean, look at that peanut head she got. She's not thinking. <laughs> Her brain power don't go that far. Oh. Well, folks, y'all go down there and you hit that like button for me. How about that? Now let us know what you think of Tiffany Henger. Then I do hit that like button. Go over there and hit that little subscribe button. And then when you hit that, you know that little bell that's over there? Hit that so you know every time we drop a, a video. Now, come on now. Let's get on the ball. You watch the videos. At least you can do a like them and comment. Comment, do something. Cause subscribe. I'm a hardworking woman out here. I'm, I'm shoot. Ain't that right? Yeah, I'm a hard working man. No days off. Well, until next time, people. We out.